first, uh, we have to remember that all genetic tests are not created equal. There are two key parts to any genetic test and the lab that can be accurate in both one or one of two. Uh, the first part is detection. Can the lab actually detect a change in a certain gene? The second is uh, interpretation. If a lab finds a change, will it be interpreted um, correctly? So if we talk a little more about detection, uh, this is complicated because not all tests are designed to find every genetic uh, change. Your genes are something like a book. For example, if you were asked to find uh, a certain topic in a book, but only look to, but you are only told to look on pages three, fifteen, or thirty. You with this uh, thumb that appear elsewhere, elsewhere. So that doesn't mean you didn't go a good uh, job looking for that. So you may have found every change on each of those pages and had a. Uh, 100% accuracy, but if the other pages have, for example, some typos, you would not have detected them. So that's an issue that I explain in a very easy way to my patients that the tests are not equal and it is important to frame the detection that we want to study. So another issue is the problem of uh, false positives. For example, we have some studies that have been published in some journals, for example, in genetics and medicine, that found that 40% uh, of the mutations included in the raw data of one direct to consumer genetic testing company were false positives. So you may be wondering how this can be possible. There are several uh, causes or explanations that we can uh, go through this. For example, it's so important for me to point out that not genetic, no genetic test is perfect. So there is always the potential for a lab error. Samples get mixed up or, or contaminated. And mistakes could happen. This may occur often when testing companies use labs that aren't held to higher standards. So that is important to go to a lab or to a center that has high standards, high quality, uh, high quality standards. Um, for example, when you get a genetic testing through a healthcare provider, your provider will use labs that go through a rigorous and through certification process. So that is important to ensure the accuracy of the test results. So that it's for me the first to go to a very, 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 very high, high ticket, a high level uh, centered. So what's more that a lot of genetic results can be interpreted inter interpreted in different ways. So different labs use different protocols for interpreting such test results. So while a test itself may have correctly identified a mutation or a variant in a particular gene, the way that a particular lab interprets it may be incorrect. For example, while one lab may see in a certain mutation like causes, likely causes an increased risk for cancer, breast cancer, while another may lab say the same, varietal likely doesn't raise the risk. So it all depends on what data the lab is using to support its interpretation. And we have programs, we have data that can support us. So that is important to have a good lab and to have a good technology to uh, have access to the best, 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 best database. So many of the common uh, mutations or variants we know of today for diseases, for example, Duchenne muscular dystrophy were discovered by uh, genome-wide association studies. G, uh, so these studies, GWAS. So these are huge studies that gather patients who had the same characteristics and sequence all the genes to look for sequences that are more common among the selected group. 
than in the general population. So in the case of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, they saw hot spots in one gene on the X chromosomes and were able to as associate this disease with these genes that is called now DVD. So it is important to know that it becomes more complicated when we think about complex traits like which diode will break for you or, or what flavor will or won't like. These traits are not determined by single genes, but rather the interaction of many genes. So different tests may be looking at different combinations of these hot spots and therefore give uh, different results. So what's more, it is important that these complex traits are also influenced by the environment, lifestyle choices, it is important, not also is genes. So all this means what it is, a, to sum up, it means that the accuracy of genetic testing is hard, it's hard to, to pin down. So how can you be sure you're getting the information you want and that's even right? The best thing for me is the key that you can do this work with a certified genetic consultant. So this for me this is a very reassuring information because these healthcare providers, uh, they, they are trained to gather all your personal background, all the whole story, as well as your family history and determine what testing is appropriate for you based on your family, your goals, on your background. So they can then work with other qualified healthcare providers to interpret your genetic results and incorporate them into your medical management. So it is important that many genetic counselors are willing and we are able to look through these reports with you and we can help you to interpret them and recommend any other testing that may be necessary to meet your needs. 